All right, everybody. Welcome to uh, the uh, first of our Technobot uh, reviews of the awesome Shattered Glass Technobots. So first up, we have Lightspeed. Now, um, in the Shattered Glass universe, uh, Lightspeed is uh, also a genius. He's a quantum th theorist. He's also uh, apparently one of the best racers on uh, Cybertron. But uh, he, it's more of an instinct thing. Like, he doesn't know the more finer details of racing. Just a uh, very aloof personality. And uh, apparently has trouble emphasizing what other... Um, Autobots, Decepticons, or even humans, or any life form, really. Sometimes can barely tell the difference between them. So, yeah, just a very different take on the more traditional um, classic versus light speed. As you can tell, uh, this one here is based off the. Um, it's a closer, more closely based on the uh, Combiner Wars. Um, Computron set. However, this is not a light steed. This was originally a uh, Streetwise. It was uh, selected for uh, several reasons, which I'll get into. Yes. So, as you can see, painted in blot colors to, uh, it's like it's, uh, and um, the front end here has been shaved down by Cool Jazz Customs, who painted all these uh, Technobots. You can see the lovely dark bluish paint. Uh, actually goes quite well with the uh, purple Autobot logo. Yeah, much like um, Lightspeed or Light Steed, it was meant to evoke a futuristic car with like a, just a whole canopy. And uh, went with this version, as the uh, regular car version of uh, the conference is uh, prohibitively expensive, and also uh, other reasons which we'll get into. Yeah, you'll see, notice these uh, new shapeless parts here. These are infrared missiles made by the Forge of Solus. Apparently it's one of the few things they made. Now you can position these uh, also this way if you choose. And also if you want, you can create an attack mode by um, patching them like so. Just a weird option you could have should you choose. Options are always nice. So let's uh, get these out of the way and start getting a uh, light speed into robot mode. Like I said I really like the uh, how cool Jazz uh, shaved the front end there. Gives it a more uh, distinct uh, sports car mode like a Ferrari or a Lamborghini. But uh, yeah, let's uh, get them transformed parts are a bit tight on this guy but bear with me you can already start seeing the uh, blot like details uh, on the legs And there you have light speed in uh, in robot mode. Now, as you can see, the colors are very much based on blot. You have a uh, purple for the uh, legs and the the inner arms. Uh, some blue details out on the legs. Now, there's uh, this U head based uh, on it's like the more traditional light speed mold. This is from Steam Shield. It came with a two pack with the nose code one since uh, basically both of the uh, Combiner Wars versions, it's like uh, they sort of just went with the regular Streetwise head and uh, and the Brawl head, so Steve Shield offered it's like uh, replacements for that to make it more accurate. And this is just a different chest which uh, was chosen because it kind of evokes that uh, mirror finish of that canopy which uh, Lightspeed's supposed to have. So. That's also from Steve Shield, and it was chosen uh, for that reason. It's uh, also one of the other reasons this uh, mold was chosen, so, yeah. 
put these uh, missiles there on the shoulders and give him his uh, hand foot gun as a weapon. Yeah. As I said though, have the rocket racer head with the lovely red eyes, great details, and uh, we place the uh, Autobot insignia right on the combiner peg. But yeah. That's a uh, light speed for you. Overall, it's like a great use of this bold. The purple and the dark blue really pop. And uh, the new chest, it's like really evokes the look of the uh, classic light speed, so. There's uh, it's like lights before you, and uh, stay tuned. It's like for the rest of the team. Nose codes up next. Later.